Can I park there, mate? We'll get them in that front room. I see one happy Tyler. That one there, we think is the incoming cold main. Toilet, he's thinking it's a, a split pipe. You can see the system split. My son and his, uh, his Mrs. Beth have just had little grand, my little grandson. I just can't sort of get my head into that job and I've worked out why it is, it's because Right, Thursday on this renovation, as per usual. Um, it might be a bit touch and go for this week's Sunday video. It might be a longer one, it might be a shorter one, because my lad is officially in the hospital with his missus and uh, she's halfway through the throes of labour, so we'll see how it pans out. But anyway, we've got rads to get done on this job. They're being delivered out shortly, the rest of them, so we get them done. Um, the, 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 the balls up with the tiles, um, that's been rectified. I don't know if I can take you into where Nathan Tyler is because he's in the middle of ripping them all off and he's not a happy bunny. But uh, we'll try and get that sorted. But yeah, so it might be uh, just little bits and bobs we're getting done for this week's video, this Sunday's video, but we'll see. So we'll crack on with some bits. Yeah, yeah, that was. Um... Okay, so delivery driver comes to drop my stuff off. Um, Chatting, yeah. fishing with the fucking Tyler. Oh, with, uh, right. Oh, where from? Can I park there, mate? The RH. Fucking no, vans yeah. everywhere here. Oh yeah, yeah. Really? Come on, Daz. Come on, Daz. We'll get them in that front room. Come on, Daz. We'll... You're going to do it in his new van. Oh. No pressure. See you later, boys. See you later, mate. Nice one, Daz. Cheers, mate. So we're beginning now to get the brass taps on, brass plate, shower, got the shower rows on, and I've just put on, this was a, this rad was a massive sort of talking point, the way it's situated, um, it was just, we were pushed for, pushed for room in here anyway, but that was the only place that it could go, I, I said about going here, or here, but the customer was happy for it to go there, they knew it was going to be dead tight, so that's where it's gone on. Um, it is what it is there, they're happy with it, so that's the main thing. Just, just a dead tight little squash of bathroom, this one. Mirror's coming soon. Right, I'm going to stick my head around this corner and see one happy Tyler. See, look at that. Customer's been out. And Nath, you're all right, Nath, ain't you? You're all right. We will be. We will be. Uh, they've got to come off. What a what a nightmare. But it is what it is. I'll leave him to it because he's not a happy bunny. Ah. Again, like where because the, because they were tiled properly, it has just ripped the wall out. So we've got to re reboard that, re skim it. So. Don't go to Topps tiles. Shit tiles. Right, so this main, this cold main in here, um, we didn't know where it shut off, but we fortunately we've been able to find it right literally about 100 metres that way. Um, we've been able to find out how to shut it off. So, catch up there. so what we're going to do, we've exposed the groundwork, so it's fine. We've exposed a pipe coming in. Let me show you. That one there, we think is the incoming cold main. So Dave's gone off to get a fitting to cut that, couple onto that, come off there in blue poly, and hopefully come up in the corner, into here, and then we can run a new stop tap in the boiler cupboard there. So we'll see what happens when we cut it. Right, so I just chopped a bit of that floor out around there to try and expose that a bit. But what I'm gonna do is try and pull that away from the wall, like so drill down an angle there to get the new poly in so we can get the new poly in in situ before we cut that main that's outside but from from what i can tell that's coming looping in 
and that main, that one I showed you is about here, so I think it's going to run and then out. You never know where these bloody Victorians or whoever built the house and put the lead main in. Put it. It's trial and error, really. Right, complete change of plan on here because we can't go that way because of the drains and whatnot. So, what we're going to do is shut it off, cut it here, put a lead jointer on here, come off there in poly, and straight up into there. For what it's going to uh, gain us by doing it outside, we'll just do it in here. Um, it's just a, an easier way and it saves a lot of, a lot of stress outside with cutting into huge lead mains out there. Always the way, innit? You're just on your way home and your mate, one of your mates drops you a message or gives you a ring. Mark, I've got a leak. So, uh, just flicked on to Facebook, a mate of mine owns a garage down in Warwick, car garage, VTS in Warwick. Um, he's messaged me, he's got water coming out of the toilet or a leak from the toilet. He's thinking it's a, a split pipe. Um, I don't think it will be, unless it's corroded. Um, but I'll swing in there now and have a look for him and see, uh, see what it is. Hopefully it's something straightforward or like a washer's gone or something like that but we're swinging now and have a look and uh, go from there he's got his old plastic cistern here um he thought it was leaking from one of these pipes down here but as we all know you always look up with water because it drips down so it's on the corner of the cistern here and as you can see the cistern split so going all the way down so we need a new system popping on here so what i'll do is i'll get the water turned off get a ball of fix tapped into here and then go off and grab a system see if we can get a re replacement system for that what i've done for the moment is just adjusted the arm so the water level is about say about here because the split is about to there so if we drop the water level lower for the moment let me pop off and see if I can get a cistern. I don't know if they'll have a man, they should do, but we'll go and have a look. Right, picked the cistern up and got the water turned off here because I'm going to cut a ball, cut a ball of fix in here. Uh, but the water doesn't want to turn off completely. So we've got all the taps running down, a bit of a trick for you. Turn the water off as best you can. All the taps downstairs running um, to take the pressure off. So we'll cut this now, bang a ball of fix on it. Um, and then get the water back on and then we can work from there but yeah a little trick if, if ever you can't turn the, the main off turn it off as best you can and open as many taps as you can to just relieve the pressure of the water so we've done that flushed it we've opened these taps so we'll get that cut in right there we go got the system uh my little macd exposed system just made that up they're a bit of a pain just to make up but we've done that so now we'll swap the old one out and get that one in yeah, so here's the one I just took out. I mean, even even the lugs are split, but you can see down the side, it was just splitting all the way down, hence when well, it was leaking out. So, got the old one off. New one's there, we'll get rid of that one and get that one on. There we go, sorted. Replacement, exposed cistern in, just filling up. Yeah, just a direct replacement, nice and easy, straightforward enough. Right, that's it, system sorted here. My mate's garage, VTS Automotive in Warwick. So Matty gave me a ring, come and sorted it. Literally on my way home. So I thought, little jobs like that, you've got to just sort of do them. You know, it's like, you know, half hour, 40 minutes, get the part done, get, go pick the part up, go and get it, fit it, job done. Everyone's happy, earn a few quid. So that's that sorted. Um, what are we on now? And ironically, I'm literally over the road from Warwick Hospital. And about 10 minutes ago, my lad, Josh, messaged me and little baby boy arrived about, what time is it now? Uh, it's about 20 past four, I think. So about four o'clock today, four o'clock Thursday. My son and his, uh, his missus, Beth, have just had little grand, my little grandson. So congratulations, guys. But ironically, just over the road here. So anyway, waffling. See you tomorrow. It's Friday tomorrow. Poets Day. Right, tail end of the week now, Friday, finally. Um, it's been a long week this week, really. I'm heading back now to this job 
uh, where I drilled the pipe the other day uh, for this new builder. Um, and hopefully he's got all the bits, he's supplying everything on the job. I'm literally just turning up with the labour and cracking on. Um, I gave him a list, hopefully all the bits are there. So we've got to connect a couple of rads up, chop the pipe work into the wall, connect a manifold and connect the heating loop onto the existing house. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and it's, it just feels like one of them jobs, maybe because it's a new builder that I'm working for, but I'm just not looking forward to this one really. You know, you get them jobs sometimes where you're like, oh, I've got to go over there. So that's how it feels at the minute. So I'm going to try and shake that off on the way over, get there and get my tools out, get the radio on and just get cracked into it. Being Friday as well, hopefully if I get done fairly quick, well not quick, but you know, halfway through the afternoon or whatever I might uh, be able to get off a little bit early and go and see the new addition. So, right, well, let's get over. Right, so if you remember, we got that rad, well this big black rad here, he's going up on this wall here. So uh, we chopped the pipe into the floor and chopped it into there just to bring it out so it goes straight into the bottom of the rad, same as that one. Um, so we'll get them, they're in position, chopped into the floor, they're gonna screed back over that and fill the wall in and then them pipes will be exactly in the right place to come out for the rad when we can finally get it hung. And then the same with this one in here. This is the one where, remember that little incident? Um, so what we're gonna do here is, obviously this one can come straight out, I've marked up as accurate as that'll come straight out. We'll elbow that one across, straight out there, and then the plaster will just skim back over that, skim over that, then we can get the rads on. Um, but while I've got it drained down, I've got to connect that rad into the existing heating circuit here. So we're just doing a bit of draining it down now. Right, so that's the pipe work over there in that rad done. So we're just coming into the kitchen now to connect the tails of this for that one over there. So just pop the caps off. We've got the heating system draining down anyway. Pop the caps off, just let the water drain out of that. But what we've got, I think, we've got a couple of elbows or reducers and we'll just literally somehow connect that in there. I'm not quite sure, it might take a little bit of bending. We've got plenty of elbows and that anyway, so we'll get them into there some way, shape or form. And then it's been screeded over or, or left open, but there's a kitchen island going on here. So it's not, not an issue. So we'll see how we're gonna do this. Right, that's the best way of a bad sort of situation. That's the best way we're gonna get it connected up um, onto there and then onto there. Coupler, reducer, elbow. Say so it's only feeding that rad over there. So we we'll lock all these off, get it repressurized up, make sure that's okay. Then we've got under 40 manifold to connect up as well. And get it refilled back up, pressurized back up. Come back and see the pressure gauge. Right, so back onto this manifold then. Done the rads, they're sorted. Pressured up, filled up, um, got them capped off. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna come down low level, run along the bottom here, and then up into the uh, 22 mil fittings there, just to feed this manifold. So once that's connected in, open the uh, lever valves and it will fill that underfloor eating system up. But I mean, I've had nothing to do with that apart from connecting the manifold and connecting the feeds to it. So we'll get that done, get that connected in, and see if it's all right.
Right, there we go then. Heating manifold pipes up. Um, got the flow returns coming down here, along, up, into the isolation valves. And then we've got that mixing valve, blending valve, through the pump. And then it goes into the two circuits there, off in the actuators on the top. So what we'll do, we'll open these up now, just slowly, just to test this pipe work up to the insulation valves. Then we know each one of those are okay. So we'll open these up, like so. And we're going to shut off there anyway. So then we know this pipe works sound. We can open them two isolation valves up and it can go through the manifold, into the heating circuit, back up, through the other side, through the pump, back through the mixing valve, blending valve. And uh, well, let's just have a look and see where we're at with it. Just that one open. And just open up the other one. And you'll see it just go through the system. There we go, through the system, anything from, we just pop these uh, actuators off the top just so that just so that they're not restricting it in any way, which I don't think they are anyway, but just, just to be sure. And then that's it, we'll just be circulating around. Then the electrician will come and wire everything in, wire the actuators in, all good. I see it all done over that job for now. I've just got to pop back and fit them rads when they've skimmed up. I just can't sort of get my head into that job. And I've worked out why it is. It's because I'm following on from where another plumber's been and done the work. So I'm just a little, just can't get into it sort of thing. But it is what it is. Anyway, uh, I finished finishing early today. Going to see my lad and the new little nipper. Um, so hope you all have a good weekend. Hopefully touch wood. Should be on 6,000 subscribers by the weekend, which is uh, brilliant. So, if you haven't already, hit the hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and drop me a comment below. And uh, just tell me whether you go to jobs where you're finishing off other people's work and you just don't like them, or is it just me being a dickhead? Anyway, right, have a good weekend. I'll see you next week.